Welcome to the Empire Builders Podcast, teaching business owners the not-so-secret techniques that took famous businesses from mom and pop to major brands. Stephen Semple is a marketing consultant, story collector, and storyteller. I'm Stephen's sidekick and business partner, Dave Young. Before we get into today's episode, a word from our sponsor, which is, well, it's us. But we're highlighting ads we've written and produced for our clients. So here's one of those. The green and gold box of Rio Thompson candies sits on the sideboard like a beacon of hope. Nestled inside, emitting a slight hint of mint, lies the chocolate that inspires you, that helps you do better and be better. A special treat for the end of a good day must be a Rio Thompson's mint smoothie. But here's a secret tip. You really don't have to wait to the end of the day. Treat yourself anytime you like. Rio Thompson Candies in Stratford. Mint smoothie inspiration in a green and gold box. Welcome to another episode of the Empire Builders Podcast. You wanted to talk about Amazon today? What is there left to say about Amazon? Amazon, once again, is doing something that you need to be aware of. But there's a couple of other little interesting sidebars in this Amazon story. So about a year ago, before we actually started this podcast... I had created a YouTube video, and we'll have a link to this YouTube video, talking about some trends that we saw coming into the pandemic. So pre-pandemic, we saw online retailing cross the magic 15% of all retail transactions in December pre-pandemic. Now, the reason why that's important is... There's this whole idea of the diffusion of innovation and how things grow. And basically the amount of time it takes from something to go from zero to 15% is the amount of time it takes to go from 15% to 80%. So that's kind of when things explode. And we have seen this continued explosion of online retailing. And that has been a cautionary thing we've been sharing with clients. Look, you've just got to be aware of this. But here's the interesting thing. One of the areas that lagged that was not at that mark was clothing. 15% of all clothing retailing is now done online. 2002, Amazon started selling clothing online, and Amazon is now the largest retailer of clothing in North America. They just recently passed Walmart. That's big news and they are a force to be reckoned with. So, if you're Amazon, and you're looking at the online clothing business, and you're wanting to create a better experience, who do you think you'd look out at? We've talked about this before. Dave, who is the second fastest growing luxury brand in the world? We've talked about them before. Uh, I didn't know there was going to be a quiz. Uh, I would have studied. Um, are we talking about Canada Goose? We're talking about Canada Goose back in episode 12. So if you were running the clothing area for Amazon, you'd look at them, right? Oh yeah. And if they've been listening to our podcast, what would they do? They would say, look, there's probably a way to marry online and brick and mortar, right? Mm Mm-hmm. And maybe find some people that have done it. And find some people that have done it. And boy, oh boy, the one with like a really fast luxury brand, that's who you'd look at, right? Well, guess what Amazon announced? Amazon announced on Thursday, and we're recording this on January 24th, they announced on Thursday the past week that they are going to be opening a brick and mortar store in California. They're going to be opening a 30,000 square foot store right next to Nordstrom's, and Urban Outfitters, and J. Crew. That's sizable. That's sizable. And what are they going to be doing? On display is only going to be one size, one outfit, one color. Sounds kind of familiar, doesn't it? Stay tuned. We're going to wrap up this story and tell you how to apply this lesson to your business right after this. How's business? Yeah, good. Why isn't it great? We we were growing 20, 30% every year for five years. Then we went flat in the last three. Growth used to be easy. Now, nothing we do seems to have the same effect anymore. If you're not growing, you're dying, and I can't stand to think we've hit the top and are coming back down. So you build a hell of a castle and you're worried. Maybe it's time to build an empire. Huh? 
What you got here won't get you to where you want to go. You need a fresh perspective. There's these guys that are looking for business owners just like you. Smart, customer focused, but with flat sales. What do they do? Build empires, but they don't work with just anyone. You have to be customer focused. So what exactly do they do? Well, some say they're marketers, but I call them crusaders. Check out their website at empirebuilderprogram.com. Like what you see, set up a meeting. Crusaders, empires, castles. I think someone's been getting so old they're medieval. Empirebuilderprogram.com. Check it out before you become a dinosaur. You mean dragon. No, I mean dinosaur. They were good too, for a while. Sure you want to be just good? Empirebuilderprogram.com. Let's pick up our story where we left off, and trust me, you haven't missed a thing. Go back and listen to the Canada Goose episode. That's yeah. exactly what they were doing. You know what I find ironic about is our friends, our good friends, Jeffrey and Brian Eisenberg, wrote a book mm-hmm. a, a number of years ago called Be Like Amazon. And Amazon is going to be like Canada Goose. <laughs> Amazon's going to be like Canada <laughs> Goose. You know, and it's funny, and I kind of make fun of this whole thing of Amazon copying Canada Goose, but you know they were aware of Canada Goose. There's no way that they were not aware of Canada Goose. And the more I read about this store, the more I see parallels to Canada Goose. Now, Amazon is adding a bunch of their own technology to it, like there'll be a pad, and you pick your thing, Mm. and you go to the change room, and it'll be there for you to try on and whatnot. But there are also remarkable parallels to Canada Goose. And this speaks to thing that we've been continuing to talk about this podcast, where there's these messages out there. It'd be easy for Amazon to go, we're an online retailer. Let's ignore these brick and mortar guys. But then, you know, there's this innovation happening with a brick and mortar retailer. We'll bring it in, learn from it, put our own spin on it, and put it out there. It's this whole idea of looking around at the world and learning from it. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, so this is what Amazon is going to be doing. Like they're scratching their heads and saying, uh, it's come to our attention that there is market share that we have not acquired. Absolutely. And they are the largest and they're planning on getting larger. So if you are a retailer, even if it's a space that Amazon has not beaten the crap out of, be aware you're on their radar If you're a retailer in the clothing space, best pay attention. Now, listen for future podcasts because when this store opens in LA, I will be going out there to visit the store and be able to share with our listeners and share with you and all the folks what this store is going to be like. And it's being called Amazon Style. That is the name of the store. I'll go with you. You'll go with me? Sounds like a great trip. We'll record a podcast from there, I think. That would be very cool. But this is the types of things that we are keeping our eyes on to be able to share with business owners because, man, the world is changing and shifting, and we just need to be aware of these trends. Don't look to your direct competitors for innovation ideas. Look to something that you're not doing, right? That's what they're doing. They've been selling clothes, but for innovation... They looked to somebody that was doing something different than them. Yes, competing in the same category, but not in the same way. I think it's fascinating to watch those kinds of things. And I think the lesson to me for a small business owner is you're not necessarily going to find your innovation in the direct competitor across the street. Look for adjacent categories. Look for things that share the same characteristics as your business model and see who's innovating in in areas like that. Absolutely. It's like they didn't steal this idea from eBay. I would have thought it would have been a brick and mortar retailer that would have adapted and run with this idea more than it being Amazon. But, you know, Amazon has telegraphed. Amazon is interested in this marrying. You know, that's another one of the reasons why they bought Whole Foods. There's lots of lessons here. And the other thing is anybody in retailing, I would suggest you go back and listen to the YouTube video, watch the YouTube video on this tipping point of retail. It's really interesting. And what it tells us is the trends that we see coming are just going to accelerate. So you best embrace them and move with them. Thanks for listening to the podcast. Please share us, subscribe on your favorite podcast app, and leave us a big, fat, juicy five-star rating and review at Apple Podcasts. And if you'd like to schedule your own 90-minute Empire Building session, you can do it at empirebuildingprogram.com.